Perfect. My name is Rafael Media Villa from criticologos.com.com. Uh, first, uh, Constance, Angelique, gracias. Thank you for giving me your time to talk about the second season and congratulations. Thank, thank you, you so much. Nice to see you, Rafael. Nice to see you. Gracias, gracias. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, first open question to the two of you. Um, mm -hmm. In this second season, your characters have secrets that are going to get revealed. So I wonder, and without going any more any, any any personal details, like, do you have any personal secrets that when your family or friends find out, they were like, <sighs> <laughs> "What a fun question!" That is very. Really we haven't had that question yet. Yeah. So cute. Um, I mean, I would say I I I I think that I have seen like a couple of things that, like no one knows yet, mm. and I feel like if they did, not bad necessarily, but just like if you did find out, you'd be like, "Oh damn!" Yeah. Like, Yes. I mean, I think, listen, Raphael, I think we all have, yes. right? That we all have like some secrets or whatever you want to say. And I'll say 33 years in the business that I am in and living in LA <laughs> from birth. Uh, yeah, I got, I got secrets <laughs> and I don't know that I've actually shared any of them with people. Some every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll drop a secret sure, and sure. people will be like, really what? yeah I can't and now that I'm older and a mom people don't believe the stuff that I'm talking about like when I was younger <laughs> so yeah I got some that's good like we don't have to enter any idea don't worry about it this my next question is going to be for Angelique I um Alma and Becca in this one they, they got to work together a lot mm -hmm. what have you learned from your character specifically in this specific second season with everything that's going on with the two of you I mean, I would say I've learned that Becca and Alma are best friends and partners in crime. And I think that uh, you see us without giving away too much. We know that Becca can time travel, right? Like that's the first thing we find out. That's not a secret. So we see how Alma like pushes her to like go into that, lean into that. And I think in season one, we're more, <clears throat> we like butt heads more. And I'm like, mm. kind of like, trying to like get away from her and fix her and like are you okay but then it's like we kind of morph into the same like we're there we're very similar in season two I find so I think that that's also Becca like leaning into her own power and like kind of giving getting rid of what society expects of her or mm. what she expected of herself really like these unreal expectations and she's kind of getting rid of that and like just living her life mm. for her and her family and Alma helps her with that uh, Constant, one final question. What can people expect from season two from your character's perspective? I uh, got a lot. I think this season is very Camilla and Becca yes. heavy. And um, I think season one, uh, Camilla was very, um, you didn't know why she was the way she was because she was very hard. She was very uh, firm um, and not very compassionate. But season two, you really get to see why Camilla is the way she is. The, the, the heart of Camilla, the, the devastation that happened to Camilla, the difficult decisions that she had to make. And, as, and, that the fa and you have more compassion for her and you understand mm -hmm. why she is and was the way she is. Perfect. Thank you for your time and congratulations again. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Gracias. you so much. Bye. Adios. Gracias. Bye.